Hi everybody, Anne Bandle from Said With Love and day 22 of the Said With Love Christmas countdown calendar is this key fob pattern and cute little kit. So it came with all the bits, the fabric and the um, hardware and a little bit of soft and stable. And so this video is going to show you how to turn it into this where you have this cool uh, little key fob, you can pop it over your hand and we've got all of it in this little said with love mini pattern, but we're going to go through all the details today. So day 22 of the said with love advent countdown calendar um, is this cute little key fob kit. Now, I don't know whether you've made a key fob before, but they make fantastic gifts. So the kit came with my cute little mini pattern, um, the fabric, some Biani's soft and stable and these amazing rainbow colored um, fob hardware. So let's show you how to make them. So the pattern, the little mini pattern goes through all the different steps that we're going to go through in this video. But basically we need one piece of fabric that is nine inches by four inches. Your key fob hardware, which comes in sort of two parts, this sort of um, rectangular hook bit with these very sharp bits in there and the actual key ring which we're going to thread onto the base of that. Um, one inch by nine inch of soft and stable or you can use batting. Um, sometimes it's worth using maybe a double bit of batting to get a decent amount of thickness. Something to use as a hammer, either a small sort of hammer or sometimes I end up using, you know, the back of my scissors or something that's got a bit of heft to it and some scrap batting or fabric because we don't want to use a hammer or something sharp on this lovely rainbow hardware. Um, we want to cover that before we make um, any sort of dents in it. So basically what we're going to do is head over to the iron and we're going to press this in half and then unfold and then in the two edges into that center fold and press and then we're going to press again. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So we've done the, the two folds into the middle and then pressed again. And what we're going to then do is pop our um, soft and stable on the inside. You can see that with the folds, that inside sort of dimension is just an incy wincy tad bit smaller than a, a one inch so I might just trim this down a little bit to make it just that little bit skinnier and then it will fit nicely in in here and it will be able to be folded over so I've cut that down to seven eighths of an inch rather than a full inch and it then fits nicely in that that uh, section and then we can fold it over, making sure it's all nice and neat and tidy and that those the folded edges meet nicely. And then we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're going to, in a coordinating thread, so I've grabbed, what number is this? Mm, 2886, it's a lovely sort of soft sagey green that's gonna go quite nicely with that. And put that in my top and bobbin um, so that when I stitch about an eighth of an inch in all the way around, um, the, the, the thread will sh not, not be contrasting. It'll just um, disappear quite nicely and we'll be able to get that all nicely sewn. So I'll go and do that and show you what that looks like. So I've sewn this now and I just sewed it a um, an eighth of an inch all the way around the sides and across the bottoms. And the next thing we're going to do is fold it in half and we might just tidy up that bottom end. There's a few frays and a few things. So I'm just gonna, just gonna trim that up a little bit neatly because the next thing we're going to do is get our extra little bit of batting or fabric or something that we can uh, use to protect your tabletop and protect your um your hardware the gorgeous hardware and so let's get rid of that little thread so we're then going to put your hardware and one side's got no um 
spiky bits and one side has so it's easier obviously to put your things in when you're on the flatter side so that's what we're going to do you're going to try and fit it center it if you're if you're a little bit over an inch we'll center that i'm just going to put that down i'm going to center it in there I'm going to cover that with the other batting and i'm going to grab my hammer Give it a few good taps and it pushes it down and those big pointy bits have now gone into your fabric so that it won't pull out. I might just give that another couple of little taps on that edge. There we go. So that is your key fob. Fits nicely over your hand. If you wanted to do it a little bit longer, it can fit over your whole wrist. I think I had one here somewhere. So I've got one that's just that little bit longer and that goes all the way over my wrist. So I can literally have out and about doing things with my hands, but it's uh, I've got my keys there. This one's just that little bit shorter, just for over your hands. Now, remember, you'll put your, your key ring, you'll thread your key ring onto there so that you can pop your keys, just like this one. Okay, so that is how to make a cute little key fob.